Hey guys, Jessica here. So we keep getting questions in the Facebook group about how to pour your milk out of your baby Buddha cups without making a mess. So the big problem that people are having, it's mostly coming from the little bit of milk can be left over inside the flange. If you see here, there's liquid here and there's nothing blocking the liquid. So we've got the cups. I'm holding them level as if I had pulled them out of my bra, taken the cap off. Obviously this is not milk. I use blue liquid because it's a little bit easier to see so that you can see kind of what I'm trying to do. So the first thing we're going to do, you're going to take your cup and you're going to put your wide mouth bottle to the bottom of the cup and you're going to very gently tip this cup to just about 90 degrees. Then you're going to just slowly tip it in. So see now we've got most of that liquid out. There is still a little bit, it's hard to see in the back, but if you look way back there, there's still some in the duck belt. But what we're going to do is you're now going to take your top cup, turn it around. You're going to take your wide mouth bottle, you're going to put it in contact. I like to line mine up right to that little groove where the cap would sit. And what you're going to do is you're going to tip the cup slowly. And see, now we're not making any mess and it's in contact. If you try and pour it from several inches above your bottle, there's going to be splashback because it does have access to that lip and liquid when it hits a lip is going to turn out of the way. So you're just going to go slowly. Moms are tipping it further forward to try and get it to go a little faster. But see, when you do that, you're losing control of it. So keep it at 90 degrees. Just let it, let it pour out. It is going to take just a minute. And then do not shake it to get that last liquid out. What you're going to do is you're going to take your finger and you're going to tap. And because your bottle is sitting secure on this, nothing's loose. Just gonna rock it back and forth just a little bit and tap to get the remaining liquid out. You can tap it just ever so slightly, but you don't wanna come more than maybe a quarter inch away from that. That It just has a couple MLs that like to get right there at the end. So kinda tap them out now that you've got the, the liquid down to a manageable level. And then what you can do at this point, if you wanna be able to tap it more aggressively, take your cup, turn it sideways, and now you're going to get that last liquid out of there. So that last liquid is out of that duck bill. That duck bill is clear. So now you're good to tap it a little bit more aggressively. And if you have to turn it back to that neutral position and then put it back over to get that last little bit out. But see, you can get that was four and a half ounces of liquid out of here without making a mess. You just have to be careful and you have to be a little strategic about it. So hopefully that helps. If you have any issues, please feel free to let us know. If you're really struggling, just record a video. We're happy to take a look and help you figure out what's going on.